Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Learn Analytics. And today we would be going through uh, some common SQL questions uh, to help you prepare for your next technical interview. Um, so uh, let's, yeah, no further ado, let's dive into it. So today I prepared a, a couple of common questions that you can find actually through leetcode.com. Uh, which is a pretty uh, popular website uh, to uh, look for SQL questions to practice ahead of time uh, before your interview. Um, so they rank different types of questions from its difficulty from easy, medium to hard. Um, so this common first question we would go over is in the easy category. So I'll read the prompt here. Uh, X city opened a new cinema. Many people would like to go to this cinema. The cinema also gives a poster um, identifying the movie's ratings and descriptions. Please write a SQL query to output movies with an odd numbered ID and a description that is not boring. Order the result by rating. So before we get started, uh, let's first take a look at the table itself and how the data looks like. So the data is pretty much, uh, we have four different columns. Um, here, the ID identifier, the movie uh, name, the description of that movie, and the rating for the movie. So what we want here in the output is the ID, which is in the odd uh, numbers, uh, movie, uh, the description as the rating as itself. So some criteria that I see right off the bat um, connected to it is we want the odd numbered IDs only. And what I tend to do is I tend to um, take my time and really write down uh, the comments in the comment section before I start writing my SQL query. So also the other thing is description is not boring. And also lastly, I want to order the result by rating. So here uh, we can get started. So I'll start with the select statement. I would like to get it from the table cinema. So the, the four fields I care about here is ID, movie, description, and rating. So in order to get these uh, that I care for, I have to write some type of uh, uh, criteria within my SQL query to gather only those types of criteria that I care. So odd numbered ID. Um, so within SQL, what I have to do is first I have to start with the where clause. Um, that's where I do my criteria statements. And then I would like to only get the numbers that are odd. So in order to do that, uh, I would take the ID, which is the, the different numbers. It could be odd or even. And then I'll take this um, divide by remainder function, not equal to zero. So what that means is in our statement, for example, if it was a even number, a two, it would take that and divide by two, and that would equal a remainder of zero. But however, if it was an odd number, maybe the first ID or movie, you take that and divide by that, it wouldn't equal to zero. So that would fit, uh, fit our criteria function here. So the other part is I would like to have an as a statement to continue. My description is not boring. So description, once again, I want it to be not equal to boring. And then lastly, I want to order this by the rating descend. So that means from highest to lowest. Can run our code. And yep, this, this here, we got the output that we wanted. So you could see we got the, the score of the ID of five, the house card, interesting, 9.1 one war, so everything matches our output. So it's very important, especially when 
um, throughout the interview process um, that a lot of times you make sure um, that you have all the criteria that matches uh, your comments ahead. And always like when it is a, for example, a peer uh, pair interview, you know, when someone else is looking at your code, make sure uh, you walk them through the process. So a lot of times maybe your code has um, something slightly wrong. I think it's better and it's much more important that you walk them through how you're thinking because um, it's not necessarily always about um, just getting the answer right. You have to um, ask, you know, like, is that the right way or the right direction that we're, you're, you're thinking about? And um, try to, try to um, talk through this problem. So for this second problem here, uh, we chose the one that is um, in the medium category uh, in terms of difficulty. Um, so this problem is actually a ranking uh, problem. Um, so you could see uh, the prompt is to write a SQL query to rank scores. If there is a tie between two scores, both should have the same ranking. Note that after the tie, the next ranking number should be the next consecutive integer value. In other words, there should be no holes between ranks. So we could see the output that we care for here is the score and the rank. So if we had a score of four, it would be rank number one. Score of four, it would also be rank number one. 3.85, rank number two. 3.65, rank number three. So here, uh, the main part of this is a ranking um, to be able to rank the scores that we see um, here. So if uh, you are not familiar with the function rank, um, I think that is something that uh, to definitely review. Um, and it is a very useful function if we um, to rank um, numbers, rank values, um, such and such. So here uh, we want to grab the score, right? So the table called here is the scores table, I believe. So it is the scores table. Yep, you could see it's the scores table. So we want to do is uh, if we were to do the rank function, we would do it like that. And then we would like to uh, what exactly is it over by? Um, for our scenario, we want to order by the scores. So from highest to lowest, so we want to use the descend function as rank. And let's see, uh, so this won't get us exactly what we need, but let's see what it will get us. So we could see uh, the output here. Um, this is the expected output. So we, we see it is ranking 4.0 uh, as number one, 4.00 as number one, and then 3.85 as number three, 3.65 as number four, 3.65 as number four, and 3.5 as number six. So when the ranking function, what it does is it will rank uh, the scores here, but however, uh, for tied scores, the next score after that would skip it to the next rank. So in this scenario, it's not exactly what we want here. We want uh, 4.00 as number one, 4.00 as number one, 3.85 as number two, as you can see. So luckily, what we can do is a very easy function. It is called the dense rank function which will be um, how this will work. So basically, if we were to run the dense rank function, that will populate uh, the right values that we need. Um, so basically, dense rank will keep the two tiebreakers, and then the next one would be the subsequent rank after that. Um, so yep, uh, thank you for tuning in. And that is all I have uh, for today. Um, yeah, if you find this useful, uh, please leave us a like. And if you have any other questions, leave it in the comments section. And we definitely uh, want to do more uh, videos and tutorials to help. So um, yeah, catch you later.